Hey there guys, what's up? Ragdo here, welcoming you back to the Pokemon Guy and Nuzlocke. Last time we fought against the Telmerk City Gym Leader, and by the way, without exaggeration, that was my least favorite gym and gym leader ever. I cannot stand the idea of a gym in a sewer, but that's my germaphobe kicking in. But that encounter cost us three Pokemon, so I have had to work to level up Dizzy, who currently has Bubble Beam, Hypnosis, Body Slam, and Rain Dance, and Razor Scale. I also have Angry Cutie on the team to be an HM slave. Razor Scale currently knows Steel Wing, Slash, Fly, and Spikes. So, pretty decent setup there. But I think what I'm gonna do, because I'm not sure Polyrath will ever get a fighting move, he didn't learn. No, wait, does he learn Wake Up Slap yet? I honestly can't remember. But. He didn't learn any fighting type moves by leveling up, so I'm gonna give him Surf, and I'm gonna give him Rock Smash, and we're gonna see if that doesn't carry us through to the rest of the game. So forget Bubble Beam, and then I guess we'll forget... Mm, I guess it's gotta be Rain Dance, because our Polyrath doesn't have Swift Swim. Our Polyrath has Damp, and thus cannot be exploded upon. Alright, let's talk to people, find out what's going on. Uh, you see that river down there? That's the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, let me try that again. The Telmark City sewers flow into it, but they have filters to keep it pure. I don't believe that for an instant, sir. Uh, the Pokemon around here are awesome. I found an Electabuzz, uh, and a Magmar here. Are you serious, dude? I want an Electabuzz and a Magmar. That's not even fair. Magmar is one of my best Pokemon in Pokemon Go. I love it. And I haven't seen anyone else around here with one. That makes me feel so special. You could find Basculin in that river. Some have red stripes, but others have blue stripes. Aren't Pokemon fascinating? Is that sarcasm? I think that might be sarcasm. But, uh... Oh, there are Absol here, too? Absol's dope. But... I don't understand the point behind Basculin. Like, why did it need to have two different forms? Is there... Ooh, an ether. Is there a specific point to that at all? Like, what's the deal? Why why does Basculin... Like, why didn't they just give it a cool evolution or something? I've evolved all my Pokemon. I'm not an easy trainer to take down. I never said you were. But, you know, now that you've said that, I'm going to put it out there that you might be a little bit easy to put down. Alright, it's Polyrath versus Polyrath. Let's show them who the superior Polyrath is. With three body slams to the face. Well done, Dizzy. And now for Hariyama. Let's use Razor Scale. It's time to engage in combat. Mm, with Fly. Come on, don't miss. Yes, Razor Scale. Beautifully done. And Pangoro. Well, no reason to s switch out on this. Oh, Comet Punch. Sit down, Pangoro. Even the power of evolution didn't save me. The power of evolution can't save human beings. I don't think it would save you either. Let's go. I'm from the Kanto region. Yo, so am I. Let me show you Kanto's finest. You mean red and blue and Lance? You don't look like either of them, or any of them rather. Well, goodbye Raihorn. Terribly sorry, but Dizzy needs experience. And a Machoke? It is like a field day for Razor Scale and for Dizzy out here. I'm so pleased. Sit down, Machoke. Hmm, <laughs> you Orbtus trainers are tough. I, I'm not from Orbtus, I'm from Kanto too. Although I've always liked, I know this is like a, whoa, so, it is like three in the morning. Oh, there are larvae tar in the rocks and someone just started like a really loud car outside. Can you guys hear that? I hope that's not coming up on the mic, but considering how loud that is in my ear, I am almost certain you guys can hear it. It's three in the morning, dude. What's with that? Friggin' neighbors, man. I try not to record in the day, because, you know, people like to mow their lawns and play outside and stuff. At least during the summer and the spring. But, at night, like, people don't do things, but apparently someone's going for a night drive with a big car. Jesus, man. That's insane. And I know what you're thinking, by the way. Why are you recording at four in the morning? It's because that's when, oh, like I just said, people aren't typically around at four in the morning. So you can get a lot done in the relative peace and quiet of the twilight hours. It's very pleasant, actually. Um, am I supposed to be able to go somewhere? Goodbye, Skarmory. Hello. Did you hear? 
Sometimes Pokemon live underneath the rocks, and can jump out and attack you if you break that rock. Neat. But that doesn't... Like, am I supposed to... I guess I'm supposed to surf, huh? I guess that's a little obvious considering we ended on a dead end. Basculin... Basculin... Basculin, please. One hyper potion. Alright, I guess we'll just follow the river for a little while. Go for a lazy swim. I love the surf music in this game, it's so... Ooh. Fl Yo! Who can learn flamethrower? Who among you is devoted? We just found flamethrower, and no one can learn it. I don't have a fire type. Or any, like, dragon-esque Pokemon. Wait. If this isn't the way to go, then where am I supposed to go? Hold on, guys, I need to figure this out. I'll be right back. Okay, so it turns out we were supposed to go back to the game quarter, which is weird, and I had no indication that that was a thing, but whatever. Uh, listen, punk. That information is important. Stop fooling around. Hey, Ragter. This Mariana dude here. He says he has valuable information about Registeel. That must be connected to the thugs we're chasing, right? But he refuses to talk. Wait, did he just say Ragter? Y you're not the kid that took down Akuto, are you? Please don't hurt me! I'll tell you everything I know. Rumor has it, Registeel is in a cave in the Telmerk outskirts, just north of the city. I overheard some dudes talking about trying to break into it. I've said too much. I'm out of here. Oh, hey. Whoa. What just happened? You took down Akuto? That's so awesome! You continue to surprise me, Ragter. Here I was thinking I was doing some awesome reconnaissance, and you're taking down criminal organizations! Now, what did he tell us? Tell Mark Outskirts, right? I guess that's where we should head next. I'll meet you there, Ragter. I was just there! Oh, that's infuriating. Oh, that makes me angry. Uh, uh, why? Why? If there had been, like, an NPC that had said, Hey, you should go to the game corner. Or, like, hey, the game corner is super cool. Or, like, if you found... Mm, 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 that was too vague. Like, I ended up in a dead end, because... Oh, oh, do excuse me, child. Are you Herschel from The Walking Dead? Wait, we've met before. You're Charles's aide. Tell me, you wouldn't happen to be that same trainer that dealt with the Reggie Rock situation on Zabulo Island, are you? I... you could call it that. You are? Charles has recruited quite the prodigy. After I heard what happened, I left my home and Kato Surf to go and invest it. What kind of name is Kato Surf? I knew these new elders were up to no good. If what I've heard is true, you demonstrated real courage. I want to thank you with it, and this is gonna be rock climb, so I can finally- Yep, thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you again. Oh, this is embarrassing. I'm afraid I've forgotten your name, what was it? Ah, Ragtor, of course, a wonderful name indeed. Very well, good luck on your journey, Ragtor. Uh, uh, whatever, whatever. It's like... A little, a little bit of misdire- well, not even misdirection, just poor guidance in an otherwise excellent game. Like, I can get over that 110%. But I am just a little frustrated that I spent, I think that was like six minutes running around, and I don't have that much time to record today, so... <laughs> that's, that's disheartening. But, now- oh, wait, wait, I completely forgot about something. You guys pointed out in the comments down below that back in Telmerk City, there's a Megastone we can get. Let's go see which one it is, shall we? Now that we've got a rock climb. Oh ho ho ho, ho 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 ho. Yes, indeed. What are you? Camera Uptite. Ugh. I mean, I like Camera Upt, and I like Mega Camera Upt, but they are collectively like two of the weakest Pokemon out there, so... Not that enthused about that one, but I guess we'll get over it, won't we? I mean, we have no choice to but to, right? Like, that only cost me like a straight minute of time. It's not like I feel violated or anything. Alright, let's see what's in this cave, shall we? 
What in the sweet Sam Hill? Is this a Legend of Zelda template? Hello? Ragtar opened up the chest. Obtained the relic gold. What on earth? What on earth? <laughs> what is this place? What is going on with this game anymore? I'm dumbfounded. Actually dumbfounded. Anyway, let's look for more walls we can climb. I think it- aha! Did I just- I- I need to know. Can you guys, like, let me down down in the comments what I just ran into? Am I gonna- Ugh, whatever. Man, the trainers around these parts are tough. Am I gonna become, like, a Legend of Zelda hero? Golly, guys, that was- that was weird. I'm a tough nut to crack. I- I'm sure? What is with you people? <laughs> Nido Queen, that sounds like the perfect chance for- Oh. Oh ho ho ho. Take this. Dizzy does not give up so easily. I'm also trying to like, I'm trying to see what Dizzy's other level up moves might be, cause I, I don't think that it ends with this, at least in this game. But I mean hey, you never know. Oh a shortcut, huh? Luckily for you, I do have Rock Smash. Battle me. Some powerful trader reporting for duty, oh sorry, super powerful trader reporting for duty. Are you now? Like. Everyone over here keeps saying this, but yeah, then you bust out a Bergmite? Like, come on, guys. Ooh, can't. Hey, are you willing to trade? Because I just got this camera up tight and also a flamethrower TM. Like, that'd be dope. Super disappointed trainer checking out. That's sad. Also, I gave myself the hiccups earlier. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm a little. I'm a little distressed courtesy of that. Hello. Oh my, you look parched. Please take these. Five bottles of fresh water, dude, you are my favorite. Let's see what's over here. A good old fat stack of nothing, maybe? Oh, maybe there's an item. Wow, really? Really? Is that... Is there literally nothing over here? Golly, all of the misleading... Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. almost missed that. A Benetite. Mega Benet. I haven't seen one of those in forever. I do remember back when X and Y first came out that everyone was like excited for Mega Bennett. They were like, oh my god, Mega Bennett is gonna be a meta defining Pokemon. It's gonna rule. Oh, I was in the middle of something. There are so many water type Pokemon? Well, yes. You see, most of the Earth is covered by water, and thus most of life on Earth lives under that water. So, uh, you know, if you're just finding out about this now, you are stupid for your age. However, if you are meant to represent a child, I can understand that a bit more clearly. Please get- yes, with the para. Oh no, not Angry Cutie! This is the problem with carrying around an HM slave. They can be roared and dragon tailed out. Alright, that's fine. You brought out Filbert, you get these leaves. <laughs> Do gong gong gong. Sounds like the perfect chance for Dizzy. Rock smash. Maybe I should have gone- oh, the briny depths. Dugong, I appreciate the fight that you put up, and you are awfully cute, but... Mmm, mm-mm. No. In, uh, in vain. I, I didn't want to say in vain, because I always say things like in vain, but it just came to my mouth naturally. I'm sorry. Running through the sand is so fun. Yeah, until, like, it's stuck between your toes, and it's all icky and gross and stuff. Ugh. I mean, I like the beach well enough, but... There are some things about the beach that could be improved upon, like more stations to get rid of the sand, and also less people. I hate populated beaches. Like, there, there is something about them, I'll give them that. Like, you can really, like, feel at home on a beach in a weird way, surrounded by people and the waves, but I also like privacy. I like being able to relax on my own, and populated beaches feel very... They feel more crowded than, like, an other populated area would be, if that makes any sense. Anyway, let's see. The Fairy Ruins. Ooh, this sounds like a chance for an encounter. You aren't with those goons, are you? No. Unless you mean, like, these goons. Like, Dizzy. Because <laughs> I'm with them for sure. Wow, Sudowoodo. Hanging on with that one HP? How dare you make Dizzy exert more effort than need be. Ah, oh, god, here they are. Alright, can we find a Pokemon in here? Our fairy ruins encounter is... Ooh, another water type, first of all, but Clauncher. 
That's an interesting one. I am particularly fond of Clodzer. So that makes me kind of happy to see, actually. Let's go into Razor Scale. As water resists steel, and thus my steel wing is going to miss. Excellent. My favorite. Come on, one more. No crits. Perfect. All right, Clauncher. Another in a long series of water types I will be collecting. How would you like to come along with me? Nice and easy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Clauncher. Thank you for being cooperative. Clauncher, the water gun Pokemon. They fire compressed water from their massive claws like shooting a pistol. What is the... What is the sea creature that these things are based off of? There's like... Uh, if I can remember what it is, I'll bring it up in the next episode. But there are these sea creatures that can like shoot their mandibles with enough force to like break aquarium glass and they can't be contained in regular aquariums because of it because they're like so strong like getting hit by one of them is like getting hit by a shotgun I can't I'm trying to for the life of me to remember what they're called but I'm gonna call this guy what I call most of my crab like undersea Pokemon I'm gonna call it water hazard which is what I also call my crawdons and my Kingdra's, <laughs> or my Kingler's, not my Kingdra's. Oh wait, Hazard. I'll just call it Hazard without the second A, and infuriate everyone with uh, a completionist streak in them. There you go. How about that, friends? My Clauncher is imperfect. <laughs> you chose the wrong guy to walk past. You chose the wrong guy to pick a fight with, dude. Do you know who you're messing with? <gasps> Almanite! How dare you make me fight Lord Helix, you monster. I'm probably going to need to go back and heal in a second. Ugh. Mind Reader. Hmm. Hmm, no. I don't have Dynamic Punch, so no point in that. Kabuto. Let's allow Shell Shock some experience, shall we? Alright, Kabuto. You're going to get fried by my eh, Mega Evolution. Also, for a second there, and that's why there was a bit of silence, I was very, very, very tempted to bust out into the Poké Rap. I was gonna make a joke about Kabuto and then Persian and Paris and Horsey. Radicate Magnumet Kadabra Weeping Bell. Ditto Cloister. Oh, I can't remember what comes next. It's something Sandshrew, Bulbasaur Charmander, Golem Pikachu. But <laughs> now I've gone and messed it up. Lost all my Poké cred. But I mean, hey, what else is new? Me messing up a Pokémon thing? Color me shocked. That was a little, uh, little self-deprecating. I'm a little. I feel a little sad for myself. I'm sorry, me. I'm gonna pat myself on the back there. <laughs> Make myself feel better about the situation I've gotten myself into. I also don't have PP recovering moves, so those rock smashes are the ones we're gonna be stuck with for a while. I believe it's time to allow Shazam to fight. I can't let you get past me. Okay, you can try. Like, I guarantee- oh, Claydol, huh? I guarantee you can try, but will you succeed is another matter entirely. See, it's a good thing I didn't go into Polyrath there. Otherwise, Polyrath would have been in some deep trouble. Take this! Sit down, Claydol. This won't do. You won't do. Useless grunts. Alright, where is a super potion? All the healing up this game. I feel terrible about this episode, by the way. It was supposed to be way more action-packed, but I, I got lost. And I feel I feel bad about it. Ooh, Gastrodon. Gastrodon would have been cool. Don't even try. Registeel is ours. Oh, uh, no. Registeel belongs to everybody. Hashtag communism. <laughs> I don't even know. What's come over me? It's very late in the evening. I'm very tired, but I really wanted to play. Like I had been, I had been doing my level ups, and I really wanted to put them to. Ooh, Rampardos! I really wanted to put them to use, so I had to record. I just, I had to. Have I said too much? No, but you smell. Anyway, <laughs> come on. There's got to be with all of these setups. How can there not be hidden items around here? I feel teased. Oh dear. It just goes on and on and on! I just want to get out of this cave so I can run into more wild Pokemon. Or, uh, that was sarcasm! <laughs> oh ho. 
I think this will be the last trainer for the episode. How did you get this far? I'll take care of you. Is that right, friend? With your- Oh, they always lead with these ground types. How infuriating. Go, Shell Shock. Odor Sleuth. Dude. Dude. Did, it, did nobody teach you how to Pokemon? Right? I know it's a hard world out there. Oh, come on now. Protect! Ha 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 ha! Eat it, Diggersby. Eat it! I remember when you were cool, too. I missed that one. I think it was Tangrowth, though. Which sounds like a job for Razor Scale. Hey, I saw you on a tablet at the beginning of the game, Tangrowth. Is this implying that you are an ancient and powerful Pokemon? I'm not gonna go for Fly anymore. Now that I'm paralyzed, I'm just not about that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Please, don't recover too much. Yes, okay. Goodbye, Tangrowth. And a Noctowl to finish things off. Finally, Shazam can take center stage. Destroy it with your Thunderfang. Goodbye, Noctowl. What power do you have? The power... To run away. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Alright. Ooh. We are getting close to the end, I feel like. Maybe even close to the end of this game, dude. How much longer could we pop- I'm gonna turn on repels, by the way. I know I said, like, we were gonna end off there, but I just- I wanna see. I wanna see what else is down here, you know? Mm-hmm. A good fat nothing. Where we came from. And here we have progress. Oh, wait, there's an item over here. I knew there would be. Another water stone! Now if I run into a star, you, my dreams will be complete. <laughs> so many water types. I would die for Ezekiel. Okay, dude. Alright. No one is questioning your devotion. However, can I have to ask you to back up and go away? Because I ain't about that killing life. Sigilef. Ugh. Ugh, the model is so icky. I hate it. Please. Oh, and I'm choice scarfed in. You know, choice scarf is both a blessing and a curse for an LP. Uh, he won't be happy with me for this. No, no, he won't be. You're a screwed friend. Come on. Ah, alright. Finally. The dead end ended up being worth it. I, I want to peek my head around. Yes. More repels. Anybody? Alright, one more grunt. One more. I'll make this cave your tomb. How morbid. <laughs> That's some Illidan Storm Rage crap, dude. Sorry, I'm really on a wow kick lately. <laughs> Take this. Oh, I had a feeling I should go for Spark. Or Shockwave. Whatever it is I have. Come on. Give me... Give me something I can end off on. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna call it there. Wait. One more. The new elders never surrender. I... You know... I didn't say you did. Like, all of you guys are out here making these assertions that I'm, you know, demeaning your organization or something like that. I haven't said any of these things. You are all jumping to conclusion with your battle cries. Frankly, it's becoming a little bit obnoxious. And I would appreciate it if y'all stopped. Also, a Tyrantrum. That's horrifying. I'm gonna go out into Shell Shock. <laughs> Although I guess I could have just as easily gone on a Filbert, but hey, we'll take what we can get, am I right? Mega Evolution. Water Pulse. Oh. Oh, I could have stayed in with... Never mind. Whatever. Goodbye, Tyrantrum. Uncle! Uncle! <laughs> yeah, how about that never surrendering crap, eh? Oh my god, there's so many. Alright, I'm gonna end off here, guys. <laughs> I've been going on for too long. I will see you when we return in the next episode of our Pokemon Guy and Nuzlocke. Since these new elders are so fond of their old Pokemon, let me know down below what your favorite fossil type is. Fossil type. What your favorite fossil Pokemon is. And also, if you have enjoyed this episode, then please leave a like and a comment down below telling me just how much fun you've had. And I will see you next time when we return to the Fairy Ruins to stop the new elders. Until then, be sure to take care and have a good one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye!